Let's take a look at the starting lineups. We'll start with the visiting Bruins. Freshman phenom Kiki Rice, as advertised, she started all 21 games. Gina Conti, the Wake Forest transfer. Emily Bessoir coming off 13 against Washington State. We talked about Osborne making her 100th start as a Bruin. And there's a look at Corey Close, who just had her 250th win in her 12th season at the helm for the Bruins. For the Buffs, Jalen Sherrod. Going to be a force for UCLA's defense to stop. Combined for 31 points last weekend. Tay Jones, a free to four man. Quay Miller had a career high just a week ago at Cal. She dropped 26. And Aaronette Von Lee recording her first double double at Stanford in their loss. Buffs left to be back home. They are 8 and 0 here. And J.R. Payne really appreciates the home crowd, the home court advantage, all the things that come with uh, staying in your own bed and playing right here in Boulder, Colorado. We are ready for tip and ready to go at the CU Event Center, a much-anticipated game in the Pac-12. Two teams ranked in the top 25. CU's had a couple upsets this year, but now the first time we're seeing them against a ranked opponent as they're also in the top 25. The tip all around, and it's going to end up with UCLA. So the visitors who've been out on the road carry now three straight games back-to-back -back weekends away from Southern California. As Co Coach Corey Close mentioned, we, uh, we don't have much to say anymore given our <laughs> future moves, but certainly, yeah, a tough schedule for UCLA. Conti on the left side, back to the top of the key and the shot clock winding down. It's at seven, a four shot. And another one up at three. Hustle for the boards, it's out of bounds. UCLA is gonna meet their physicality. Colorado swept the series last year, the 22nd meeting between these two clubs. And again, as Cami alluded to, the last year for UCLA as Bessoir hits the three in the Pac-12. She's got so much range. Aronette's gonna have to shoot. Missing the two, ball in the air, and here come the Bruins. And Kiki Rice, again, just on that box out. Frida is fighting for it, but she had no position. There's Osborne, and she leaves it short. And this is what you have to watch. Transition defense, especially when the ball's in Sherrod's hands, and that's exactly why she can go coast to coast. Sherrod, tough defense on Osborne. Jones got a hand in there. Tried to get her own rebound, and now it's going to be a hustle to the ball. Jones will come up with it. And see you really disrupting UCLA, jumping out on those screens and taking out, taking away their first option on offense. <laughs> nice rebound and finish for Von Lay. She has two. Buffs know they got to hit those boards, and Aaronette again taking her time with the putback, making sure it counts. So UCLA in a big scoring drought here, over two minutes. Buffs up four to three in the first. Miller adding on. When she gets some good momentum going, she's that type of player that can really ride that wave. Osborne for three, trying to answer on the other end. No good, but a nice offensive rebound. They have a lot of those as well. Average about 14 a game, and Osborne can't get the roll to go. Another offensive board, and London Jones, all five foot four, <laughs> coming up with the board and the putback. I was say, the smallest player on the floor, she just beat all of you. Bonley muscling in there, can't get a call, but Frida Foreman will try to finish. No good. A little frenetic, a little hectic right now. Ball's bouncing all over the place. No one can really kind of grab those rebounds. But that's the kind of chaos that CU loves and thrives. And Christine Iwala grabbing points. Sherrod outside, Foreman for three. Really strong ball of it. Tayona Jones knew Frida had it. She just rushed the shot just a little bit. A good contest by UCLA, but nice extra pass by Tayana Jones there. Conti with the moves and a late whistle. We just admire Tammy so much and all that she does. And uh, she just wants more time to live. That's what she said the other day on a call with us. Wants more time. And uh, if the KEO Foundation can provide that for families. Obviously someone that's impacted so many of these players, as you mentioned. She's got such a presence with so many of these young women. Hustle on the other end, and it's going to save the buffs. <laughs> it's a little dicey. Okay. Yeah, make hey, the move. Right, it's also went to the bench in their timeout a bit. But Kiki Rice missing the shot clock. Uh, of what? Of awareness. What's going on on the floor there? CU wasn't 
bad defense. It wasn't by any means the highest pressure D you've ever seen. UCLA just not quite taking advantage of it. A wide open Quay Miller. She was closed in but still makes the shot. She has five. Nice little look in the short corner and makes herself available. And there she does. Just splitting defenders but nowhere near the basket. Wide open. Had a good look at it. Just is going to make a count. Well, for Bjergana McLeod, it's already been a productive day. Now trying to get it done at the line. Missing both of her free throws. And here come the Bruins. Miller tried to pressure a bit off the rebound. Osborne inside. And the hook shot good by Zontok. And CU throwing a little bit of a, a zone look there. And didn't quite work out. Again, the risk of you have to be so quick to execute that. It's just a back and forth affair here in Boulder, tied at 11, under 2.30 to go in the first quarter. Weta drives to her left, and a Bruin board. Good, just good, strong defense, and Kiki Rice as well she is. <laughs> there we go. London Johnson knocking it down, and Kiki Rice hasn't been as productive, but that's the thing with UCLA. If one's not hitting, another one will. Yeah, if one freshman uh, doesn't have a day, just check in for another. Sadler out to Quay Miller. That's short. And Rice is going to push it. One on two. She'll slow it down. Off to Osborne. Wide open three look. In and out. But a nice board. And there's a whistle. Now Lena Zontok. Corey Close was able to go out and get with her assistance. I mean... Talk about that. She still said there's a lot to grow, right? It's still college basketball. It's getting used to a new system. There's still room for improvement. Yeah, they all average about 19 minutes a game. It's not like they are not contributing. They're spending a lot of time on the floor, getting a valuable part of that learning curve quickly. Chirag got stuffed. They're going to call a jump ball. Again, Jones taking the matchup and kind of matching that energy with Sherrod. That's a good matchup. UCLA has gone on a 6-0 run here over the last minute 25. Now a minute 05 and make it a 8-0 run. Zontok using the glass. Just a perfect textbook post move. Read in the defense. Shira turns the ball over right into the hands of Kiki Rice. And there's that speed you were talking about earlier. And you can see J.R. Payne right now having a conversation with Teresa Turner. Shira right there listening in like, yeah. That was all ball, man. 51.5 seconds left. And Rice, the size difference, too, for UCLA at times, you know, just in the substitution alone. Obviously, London Jones bringing that down at five foot four. But underneath, that's where Quay Miller has to go to work, and she does. Keeps that defense honest. Seven points for Miller. Buffs trail still. No good off the glass, and here comes Frida Foreman. Going to slow it up and take the right shot here at the end of the quarter. Down by six, 19-13. Bruins double-teaming Sharad. Oh. She's have to give the ball up with three seconds to go and a whistle. It's a coach's job, right? Yep. Let me just make sure you hear my piece. Tayana Jones in. Foreman's going to have to throw it up and at the buzzer. No good. So a back and forth affair. We've heard it from every coach. You'll continue to hear it from every coach in the Pac-12. Every team is good. Every team has an opportunity to win. We don't earmark them just because they're in the top 25. Well, as the second quarter begins, UCLA outscoring the Buffs 12 to 6. Went on a little run since Vonley's second foul. I don't know about the foul. Jones is playing pretty straight up there. But again, this is what Sherrod does so well. It's hard not to get that whistle. So Sherrod knocking down a couple of buckets. We talked about the Pac-12 and how tough they are. Straight up defense. Kiki Rice going for the screen, but what a little bit of impact falls down. Kiki was there, but again, a little too much movement, a little too much contact. So the buffs are going to try and capitalize off the turnover. They have five points so far on the day when UCLA turns it over. Inside and underneath too far was Foreman, but what a cutting through. Good defense by the Buffs. Five on the shot clock. Rice will have to throw it up too hard off the glass. Miller came down with it, knocked out of bounds. 
she can create a wrinkle where there is zero lane, she will find a way. Weta with a nice feed to a cutting Quay Miller wide open. I mean, this becomes a big offensive possession for Corey Close. We talked to her before the game about playing four quarters of basketball. They've seemed to have every single game where they've missed a quarter, and Jaquez says, all right, I got you. And Frida Foreman got open, and then lets the ball go out of bounds. Gaspar's parents watching her for the very first time in her career. Of course, she's from Germany, playing in her 43rd college game. Jaquez with a baseball pass, and it ends up with Whitaker. So the ball back for the Buffs. Chance for them to cut the 22-19 lead of the Bruins, but a foul call underneath. Charlotte is another player that's just battled through some injuries. And one of those kids that you get a little bit of foul problems. Excuse me, they're one for eight from the field, two for five for the Buffs. They're just a combined three field goals between the two teams. We've seen a lot of whistles, and CU's in the bonus. Bustling in underneath and missing the shot is Iwala coming up with the board. Quay Miller. I like it, bringing it up. And you know what CU has done so effectively on defense, they're, it's, it's been a team effort. They're rotating so many defensive matchups and then miller putting up the points so four rebounds and now in double figures once again for queen miller she has 11 points conti off to rice again the number one ranked high school player in the country lands at ucla her parents went to yale has a sibling at yale had lots of great choices for very elite educational schools and chose the Bruins. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. Charisma Osborne has entered the building. And Kiki Rice finds her wide open on the baseline again. Can't give her that much room. Knocks it down. Cloud Dewetta. She tries and just finesse. Seven bench points for the bus to UCLA's 10, and there's another whistle. Frida Foreman drives to her left, pulls up at the elbow and missing. Here comes the speed of Osborne. And just kind of pulls yeah. the brakes right there on win and grabs her bucket. And again, the kind of player who's, yeah, I've been in this league a few years. I know when I need to turn this on. I've got a fast break. I'm going to take it. Frida Foreman's been cold for the buffs. That's not just tonight. 0 for 6 tonight. Five points against Stanford, seven against Cal. With who they've got, and they match up so well, but it's hard to compete against size. She'll try and make her second. And a miss there. Under two to go here in the first half. Three-point lead for UCLA. Conti to Rice, she drives baseline. Finds a teammate. Oh. <laughs> and how about that? You come off the bench, and Izzy Anstey contributing. Again, and she passed up the first shot, <laughs> but takes it off the dribble and still makes it happen. That's what Kiki Rice is so good at, right? She drives. She creates those opportunities. Nice feed from Wynn. She's like, Frida, I got you. Get on the board. And those are the first points for Foreman. Good recognition by Frida. Finding that cut in the open lane. Ooh, pretty turn and shoot for Haquez. She has five. Miller with the handoff to Frida Foreman. She's going to attack and can't find the rim. Not the best option. Tayana Jones was doing all she could to help her teammates recognize she was open. Haquez just getting after it. She has seven. Again, just good recognition of not straight up defense and opportunity. What a chance. Knows how to make the pretty shots count. Got so much speed, she can beat so many defenders. So gets Kiki Rice moving, and then again creates a little bit of contact. Uses that other arm to create some space. Which is 5.7 points a game. She's already at six, looking to make it seven here. Castle Rock, Colorado native, wearing her jersey with pride, missing the free throw. Coach T thought there might have been a different whistle on that, or there should have been. <laughs> Haquez just muscling her way to the rim. Can't get that one to fall, but an offensive board. No good for Brown, and there's a Miller rebound. She's on her way towards a double-double. Pick it up off to Weta. 12 seconds to go. 
Winna backing it up. Buffs would love to score before the half. What a goes to her left. High pass to Quay. She's gonna have to shoot. She does it contested and nowhere near the hoop, hitting the backboard. So the Buffs will trail by five on their home court here. Again, a perfect 8-0 at the CU Event Center from the free throw line. As for the Buffs, Sherrod's been on the bench a lot of this game. She has two fouls tonight, just four points. And Frida Foreman. Good to see the starters back out there for the Buffs. Sarinette Von Ley was also on the bench. And how about that for a little more characteristic? <laughs> there you Three go. for Frida Foreman. That's a little bit more textbook right there. Squares up, has a nice shot, has the time. And again, kind of one of those veteran players like, okay, I got this. Here we go. That's her 40th three of the season. Conti inside. Brown starting the second half here for UCLA. And Rice pulling up to answer at least two points on the other end. Good outlet at Tay Jones. We've seen Frida in that spot before. <laughs> And Frida with the three. It's funny, we talked about Frida struggling, and all of a sudden you look down. Oh, she has eight. <laughs> Again, a kid that's competitive enough, right? Has that experience. He's played on a national level. I know what I need to do to get back in the game. Knows your shot will come. Sherrod getting stuffed. Brown keeping the ball in bounds, and the Bruins now taking it their way. Osborne got to take it away. Sherrod gets the ball, no whistle. And then Osborne down, so numbers for the Buffs. And just a nice little lay-in for Aronette Von Ley. Osborne walking over to the bench. Nope, she's just setting up in position. Looked like she was slow to get up for a second. Yeah, and, and Osborne up too. She she took a minute, took that whole possession, but she's staying in. Well, two minutes and 30 seconds into this third quarter. This is more what we expected from this contest between these two, a little back and forth. Freeman looking to go to her left. She pulls up, lets the defense fly by, and an air ball. Buffs need to just read that defense a little bit. Bassoir just playing it smart and sagging back. Osborne had a great feed to Bassoir. Jones clears out. On lay. The Looking for someone to pass it to. Four on the shot clock, now three. Sherrod has to pull up. Long three and nothing but the bottom of the net. Kiki Rice gave a little eye roll like, oh, I can't do anything about that. Such a good look by Jalen. Three seconds on the clock. Of course, they want to give it to Jalen Sherrod. Cool, calm, and collected was the senior from Birmingham, Alabama. Now it's seven. Rice contested by Sherrod. She's going to attack her. And they're going to call it charge. That'll get the crowd going. Spin around looking for somebody. Kiki Rice knows. There's one second. I got a hand up. <laughs> nope. Jalen gives it just enough. And she knows it. That's good. <laughs> like, that one felt good. Yeah, that one felt good. 39 all. Buffs look to take the lead with this possession. Cloud to Sadler. Sherrod wide open again. Feed the beast. This is when they know they need to take over. And Jayla Sherrod, not usually the biggest outside threat, but she's going to knock it down. Sherrod joining Miller now in double figures. She has 10. Osborne missing an answer on the other end. And it's going to go the Buffs way. Coach Payne always rebounds for Sherrod after practice. They come in early. They get a lot of work done together. I love watching that because Coach knows and trusts her shot so much when you have hands on it every day. And Miller, just the turn and kiss off the glass. She's at 13. During that timeout, very close, I'm sure of it, getting after her team. She talked so much today with us earlier about discipline. She talked in our halftime interview about discipline. You cannot sag off her. She will knock that down. Sadler pulling up. Jane Good. McLeod, weak side rebound. And she's going to go to work on post play and move. She gets stuffed. Good defense. Iwala's like, okay, I, got, I see where you're going. But again. This is where the Bruins like, we know you got it. We're not helping off, so you got no options. Iwala fed Bassoir, turn and shoot. She's at a dozen. She has such a nice, easy shot. She's got the long reach. Oh, can count it. <laughs> Again, Sherrod gets her moving. 
Again, she's a player that can change the game so quickly. And we saw it. She's taken out of her game a little bit. The Buffs have watched a little of that lead dwindle. They're now up by two. It's a one possession game. We see Sherrod on the Swar and Coy Miller on Osborne, but they're not going to exploit the matchups. All right. <laughs> Iwala thought about doing the post move. She goes to the bench player who has the most points off the bench, and that's Gabriela Jaquez. And I tell you what, just so technical and finds her shot so well. What a good game for Gabriela. Nine for Jaquez. She's coming off a game with 13 points at Washington State, and Vonley on the other end. She's now at six. Again, minutes reduced, being in foul trouble early. Has to sit. Has not had a lot of opportunity in this game. Gets those two quick fouls. But again, one of those players, you really want her in there. This is exactly why you've got to have her contest. Iwala got the hook to roll. She has four. Good, patient post move. And how about Quay Miller? Yes, she can. Answering <laughs> with the three. What a new it. Let me just send this right back up. And Osborne turning it over. To your point, Weta in the way. Foreman over, but Quay Miller, she'll get fouled. It looks like Tate Jones is going to come in for Quay Miller to give her a bit of a rest. If she can make a free throw, she does. She has a cool 18 to go with her rebounding efforts today, sitting at 9. Best one underneath, and Jones with the stuff. Energizing. Great look. and play for oh. the buffs, but UCLA still with an opportunity. Emily Bestoir with the feed out to Jones. The lefty lets it loose. That'll give him some juice. Eight points for Jones. And the last shot at the buzzard, Sherrod. No good. We can talk about a thousand points. She's inching closer and closer to that. It looks like, you know, depending on the game today, it could happen, but most likely to happen on Sunday against USC and something to be celebrated for sure, what she has meant to this program. Absolutely. And finding her spot, you know, that's the transfer portal is there for a reason. That's now the 11th time that Sherrod and Miller have each had 10 or more points in a game, and CU fares fairly well in those, going 8 and 2. Yeah, a good X factor of, okay, we have these two performing. It's always going to yield a good result. The Bruins will look to put together a really big fourth quarter here on the road. And to do it, they turn it to London Jones. You got to love Jones' determination. I'm sure she's not upset with the steal either. Turnovers work too, especially when you get it to Sherrod. And she just drives to the hoop. Now at 14 for the senior. Turns the corner. You see they had no defensive help side. Osborne's going to try the three. That's also short. The speed of Sherrod once again up to Von Ley, and that'll get you in a rhythm. Brown has plenty of room to make something happen. She ends up back in Rice's hands at the top. Shot clock at seven. Feeding Iwala against Von Ley and Miller. She was double teamed and a turnover. Ball in bounds. But the shot clock should have reset, so the referees are stopping that there. So it looks like it's going to be the Buffs basketball. They're calling it a shot clock violation. So it is the Buffs basketball on a turnover. Ooh. And speaking of turnovers, Rice got her hand <laughs> right in there, but Good Buffs remain with the ball. Sherrod going hard to the hole, leaves it short. Vonley picking it up. She gets the ball swatted away. Ball knocked away. And Rice will take the shot for UCLA. That's long. Weak side rebound. They are so good at offensive boards. They rank best in the Pac-12. Over 15 a game they grab. Gives you second point chances. Talked about Kiki being the top ranked point guard in the 2022 high school class. Well, she was co MVP of the McDonald's All American game. And a little foreshadowing of what was to come. The dynamic. I'm going to make free throws Freshman down class. the stretch, but offensive boards count the same. 
right in the mix of it was Kendall Weta, and Rice will have to come all the way down the court again. Shot clock at seven. Brown off the dribble, pulls up and gets it. Nice cold. Weta to Foreman. Miller will set the screen, and Foreman, after the hesitation, will get it back out. Into Von Lay. She just lays it in. Goes to the left hand. As I say, pretty solid by the Buffs. Eight on the shot clock. Conti back to Rice in her left hand, and she goes through three Buffs, leaving it short in the hands of Miller. Good straight up defense by Erin at Von Lay. Sherrod DeWetta wide open, and she just kisses it off the glass. No Buffs build the lead. <laughs> yeah, no defense at all from UCLA. Just. They found enough of the wrinkle in that short corner on the baseline. That's what they want to do. They want to take away your biggest weapons, force you into a game that you're not used to. That's what they've been able to do tonight. Boss playing the zone. And oh. the double team to work <laughs> there. Sherrod on London Jones. She has the oh. speed and she takes it to the hole. When you think about helping, she's already gone. Another 16 for Jalen Sherrod. How about a steal from Miller? She does it all. And Smart pulls it back. She had numbers. 63-60. Buffs up. Under two to go. Von Lay read the cut from Weta, but right into the hands of Osborne, going straight up at her. She throws it up and is fouled. This is it. More importantly, Osborne on the line, an 81% free throw shooter, and she makes her first in her 102nd career game in her fourth season at UCLA. And she knocks him down. Sherrod directing traffic for the Buffs. 45 seconds. Five on the shot clock. Ball in Sherrod's hand. She'll muscle her way through there. They're going to call it travel. One point game. 5.8 seconds separate game clock, shot clock. 33 seconds to go. Kiki Rice. Weta all over her. In the hands of London Jones. She goes baseline under the basket. 20 seconds on the shot clock. 3.7 difference with the game clock. Rice over to Osborne. She drives towards the baseline, and they're going to call a block underneath. Crowd wanted a charge. So five fouls for the Buffaloes, and Osborne, a good free throw shooter, 81%. Knocked a couple down today. They get three for three from the line in a tied ball game at 63. Jones can take the lead right here. And they do. So a one-point advantage now for the visitors. We've got Jones on Sherrod. Ten seconds to go here in Boulder. Sherrod with an easy pass in and a stuff underneath but the whistle. And for Miller, just a 53% free throw shooter. But nothing but nails <laughs> on the first one. She's at 11 in a tied ball game again. How about that? Young player. has been a little bit of a disjointed game, but steps up. And the Buffs can't take a lead. Osborne coming up with it in a quick timeout. But you've got five players on this floor right now. But can easily. Freshman Kiki Rice will inbound it. She gets it to Osborne, their leading scorer of the season. She drives straight to the hole and missing Miller coming up with the biggest rebound of the game, adding to her double-double, calling the quick timeout. At point five on the clock, catch and shoot situation for the Buffs to try and win in regulation. All tied up at 64. Will we head to overtime? Here's the inbounds pass and it looks like we will. Bonus basketball in Boulder for the Bruins and the Buffs all tied up at 64. We got a good one cooking on a Friday night affair. Come back with us. Ball is up in the air in Boulder in overtime, and Aaronette Von Ley was like, yes, we will control this. <laughs> We've got this. So Sherrod will bring it up. Oh 
Weta looking for Miller. Miller going to set the screen. Weta over to Sherrod Ooh. and a nice steal from Kiki Rice. Good read, but too far ahead. 14 turnovers on the night now for the Bruins. Von Ley handing it off. Ooh. You have to start being so smart, but that's a big loss for the Buffs. Aaronet Von Ley's day ends exactly where it started. She picked up two quick fouls in the first quarter and ended up on the bench for most of the first half. Osborne was on the ground. She gets back up. for that first overtime bucket. And guess who it's from? Picking it up, Charisma Osborne. Sherrod's gonna keep it herself. Ooh, runs right in off of it. Kiki Rice was already too far behind. Got over 400 assists today with her effort. She has five total. She's such a powerful post player. Williams playing the perimeter. Kiki Rice drives to her right. What a beautiful Ooh. move. Can't get the roll in and an offensive board by Jaquez. She can't get it to go. Bruins keep fighting and it's gonna stay with them. Turn in the corner on Jalen Sherrod. Hard for Quay Miller to help in on that. Everyone's playing a little tight. Gonna go the other way. Oh. And Sherrod hesitated. <laughs> Went back up too long. All out of bounds. It'll stay with the buffs. Oh, Frida had some space there. Passes off to Weta. Weta just creating her own opportunity. Work. Absolutely. Charlotte Whitaker kind of peeled out of the post, gave her some room to work with when she saw her for the drive. And Kendall Weta. Osborne on Weta. Bringing it up under two minutes to go in overtime. Osborne pulls it back out. Jones getting rid of all the buffs defenders. Thanks to some help from her teammate. Tiana Jones in. Free throw will tie. Both will give the Bruins a lead. Again, talking about that discipline. There's where it's at right there, that free throw line. And 13 now for the lefty in London, Jones. And more importantly, Bruins back on top. Matched up with Osborne. Buffs love to play at home. They are perfect here at the CU Event Center. Sherrod gets the ball back. She's two Bruins oh. on her and just way too hard out of bounds past Frida Foreman. Kiki Rice has been quiet. Four points for the freshman. She averages over 12. Osborne back to Rice. Rice will drive. She gets the ball stripped from her. Ends up in the hands of the speediest one out there and Sherrod Woo! Making it look pretty oh. as the Buffs take a 70 to 69 lead, but she's on the floor, giving her strength from the <laughs> sidelines. The final pump up. Fight through it. You've 50 got less seconds than a to go. Crowd on their feet at the CU Event Center. Can the Buffs hold on? Or the Bruins have enough to oh. come back. A check foul on Frida Foreman brings the bonus. The 90% free throw shooter right. to the line. Oh, hey! And a tied game once again, 70 all. Buffs have 40 seconds. 11 separates the game clock, shot clock. We've got some shooters. Miller's been pretty quiet during this overtime. Feels like Miller's been stuck at 20 forever. Yeah. She's 11 points shy of a thousand career. So you're battling with a Wally. And a kick from Osborne on the reaction from Foreman trying to feed Miller. So it'll be an inbounds play coming from the Buffs. One second separating clock, shot clock. Osborne on Sherrod here. And again, we know Sherrod just went down hard, but you also know the Buffs got some options here. 
Foreman coming over for the screen. Sherrod open. She's going to pass it off to Weta from the corner. Got it! <laughs> Weta clutch once again for the Buffs. Clay Miller had a good mismatch, too. Buffs had some options there. Just the eighth three-pointer made for Kendall Weta on the season. The 20th game for the Buffs. Ball's inbounds. And Rice will take the last shot. No good. Buffs victorious once again with an upset on a Friday night in Boulder.